Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri. And today we're gonna to answer another subscriber's question. Um, today is gonna to be a question from Karnov. I apologize if I mispronounced that. Uh, the question is, is it worth pursuing this field in terms of money? Also, are you allowed to use your company strategies to trade yourself? Okay, in terms of money, if you are gonna do it because you think you're gonna get rich, no, it's not worth it. It's pretty simple as that. Uh, the reason for this is that the amount of education and investment and time and money you put into a career to get into quantitative finance, um, you're going to start off making somewhere between 70 and 120. That's that's the real average. It's right there. Um, yeah, there are people that are going to make a lot more than that. I see people that make actually less than that, so it's kind of sad. Uh, but again, it's a lot of time. It's a lot of investment. And at the end of the day, you're not going to be a millionaire for the vast majority of you. So... That's that. Uh, if you wanna be a millionaire, the easiest route to do that is become an executive of some company. Um, to do that, you're typically better off getting a business degree. For example, like an MBA, in networking, or working your way through that system. Um, also in terms of money, I don't think it's any more or any less profitable than if you went into tech or you went into like computer science as like a pure software engineer or software developer. Um, again, you could go off and also be like a petroleum engineer. Right? There are a lot of jobs out there that make really good money that aren't this route. But the compensation for all these are gonna be fairly similar. So do I really see there being like, is it worth pursuing? If you don't eat, breathe, sleep, just absolutely love statistics, math, and computer science as a whole, and you love applying that to finance and you're interested in financial markets, don't waste your time, it's not worth it. Also, are you allowed to use your company strategies to trade yourself? No, absolutely not. Uh, they can sue you. You can go to prison for this. Um, so yes, there are rules against this. Uh, let's just break this down a little bit here. If a company is hiring you to trade or do quantitative research, you are barred from trading those asset classes at most firms and most banks. And they can take legal action against you. So you can't do that. If you do research at work and then you use it to trade, essentially you're stealing the information from them. They've already paid you for it because you're paid on salary. Um, and they've, you've stolen that information and misused it. So it's against the law. No, you can't do it. So as I mentioned, different companies have different rules. Um, again, if you're trading the full time though, you're not gonna have time to be trading on your own. Or if you're developing strategy and you're not the trader, again, you're working your 40, 50, 60 hour weeks, you're not gonna have time to trade when the markets are open. So that's just that. Um, if you think like somehow you create an algorithm and it magically trades constantly without you there, there are rules and regulations around those as well. I'm not going to get too deep into that. But again, you could do it. But again, you're violating company rules, policies, legal matters, for all that matter. And again, if you're a company, would you want to hire someone who's going to steal your work, steal the work of all your colleagues around you and go make money off it? No, of course not. Um, many firms have rules against asset classes. So for example, if you're trading, I don't know, let's say mortgage markets or you're trading, I don't know, commodities, you would be barred from trading any of those, so you can't trade them at all. Um, again, there might be some rules, some firms might say, well, we'll let you trade, we don't really care. It's not pretty rare, to be honest with you. Um, again, a lot of traders also have rules, for example, like now since you're a professional trader, or you work in research a lot of times, you can trade, but you can't trade anything less than 30 days. So if you buy something, you have to hold it for 30 days before you can trade it. Um, so now again, this is from a banking side, so I work on the banking side, um, different people have different access to different information inside the bank. Um, if anybody tells you anything that's proprietary in the bank and you trade on it, that's insider trading because you're using inside information to trade, you can go to prison for that. So that's against the law. Um, if you work in different areas, you actually get training and your people tell you like you are not to trade internal company stocks within these windows. They have blackout periods, I think is what they call them. Um, you can't trade within those windows. Okay, that's how that works. Uh, if you work, for example, in like M&As, so mergers and acquisitions, you work in other areas of finance where you have information about companies that you're doing business with, so you work on the corporate side, you're not allowed to trade any of those companies during different frames. So again, you might be able to trade in general. For example, let's say, I don't know, um, like financial institutions or something, but if you're doing deals and you're helping financial institutions and you have deals with specific companies, you are barred and you cannot trade any of that. The reason is, is all of this is considered inside information because you know inside information about these companies due to your daily job. You are not allowed to trade any of those. Um, most people in financial departments, for example, at banks, you're not allowed to trade your company's stock, or if not, there are strict rules around when, where you can trade, how much you can buy, and stuff like that. So 
in general, no, I don't think it's really worth it if you don't enjoy it. Um, it's not going to be a millionaire job. If you want to make millions, be an executive. Again, being a successful executive, it's a whole other route. Super challenging. There's a lot of hurdles in the way. Um, it pays similar to other competitive fields like technology, data science, things like that. Uh, and again, yeah, there's a lot of rules around this. You should not be trading with other people's information and tools. Um, companies, for example, pay millions of dollars for data. If you're using that and research and find things out and trying to trade on your own, that violates all kinds of laws. It's not moral. It's not ethical. Don't do it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.